Good morning, everyone. This is Diana Hernandez with Sunny 21 All Stars. I'm here with Joe Manjares on episode number five of the Real Realtor of Greater DAOR. Um, I'm going to be interviewing Joe. Say hi, Joe. Hi, how are you? So, Joe, I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? Uh -huh. What type of tools or systems do you use frequently to help you out in your business? It's uh, basically just, a. Uh, well, of course, I have a team, a couple guys on my team. Uh, we use a lot of uh, Lions Desk. And uh, they cold call a lot, uh, expires, and also um, just, you know, regular cold calling. And I know that we were using Mojo and uh, Sales Dollar for a while, but they went up to, now they're using Vulcan, which has been, it's actually increased their number of contacts. I don't know what it is about Vulcan and stuff, but it's a little bit more pricey, but mm -hmm. they their con their number of contacts that they hit per hour has increased by, you know, by a good, good amount. Okay, great. And do you, talking about teams, do you have any assistants or buyer's agents in your team? Yeah, I do. I got, yeah, I got one buyer's agent. I just added a, a new one just about two weeks ago, just because we started getting a little bit bombarded with, with, uh, with buyers, but mm -hmm. uh, typically it's just me handling the listing side. Um, uh, my son helps me out with the listing side and then I have, but he also cold calls along side with another guy on my team so there's four of us and then another guy that handles the buyers and stuff so there's four of us but i just added another one to help out with the buyers so one guy handles the buyers my son steps in once in a while to handle the buyers uh but besides that he likes to cold call and prospect and follow up and hit the database along with the other guy on my team okay great so what is okay so we all heard you know about work hard blah 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 but what do you think really takes to be a successful real estate agent? I think it's just being uh, honestly just consistent. And just uh, uh, when they're talking about the main, the, one of the main things that's showing up is just showing up and consistent and not, not giving up. I think right now we're entering into uh, a new time, a new year where there's a lot of uh, uncertainty about what's going to be happening this coming year. And I think it's just, uh, you know, do what you know that works. I think basics, and I see it. I'm not a, a prospect or a cold caller myself, um, but I I do see that it works. But I think it's just doing more of what you know that works. I mean, it, you know, I, I know that there's a lot of agents that are very successful on so, social media, um, online marketing, and then of course you have the cold callers, the the prospectors, the the, the door knocks, and I think everything works. But I think it's just doing more of of what you know what's working, what's been working for you, and not only that. Um, taking a step to do other things as well, as far as, um, you know, if you're not used to being in front of the camera or doing, you know, social media, get into it. But I think to touch on that note, I remember Diana, like years ago when I joined a mentor that I have named Gary Howard and one of the first offices that I ever worked for, he told me, he said, look, he goes master two things. And that's the thing that they were telling us, but now it's not about mastering two things. I think now you really have to be diversify, you know, as far as the online marketing, the Facebook marketing, um cold calling hitting your past you know your, your past clients crm i think now it's just you have to really do a little bit of everything in my opinion to be able to succeed i agree with you joe 100 percent. i also see a lot of agents i don't know if you noticed it's also about a little bit i think about confidence right they have to exactly. get that confidence going a lot of the times when you have to i'm sure when you have to step in in some of your buyers agents or something it's because maybe they didn't have the confidence to talk to their client and you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, it, yeah. it's confidence or act like if you know. <laughs> yeah, so. exactly. And, and, and even on the buying side, I'm, I'm still involved no matter, I'm still involved no matter what I, mm -hmm. you know, I, I talk to the buyers. I, I always, you know, there's a buyer presentation that we do, whether it's over the phone or whether it's in person. So, and, and I try to do it. And I always sort of have my team there at least to listen because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, always be the one there i want them to be able to you know to to be fine without me and not me have to be in you know in right the, but I, I i agree with you 100 percent. and confidence i mean we have to keep keep in mind a transfer to the consumer the, the client could sense your confidence i mean mm -hmm. the, whether it's a buyer or, or a seller they because they smell you know, they'll they'll sense it and, and if you're not confident i mean that'll you know that'll they smell you know, fear <laughs> yeah they do yeah so okay so some fun questions okay if you were not in the real estate business, what type of business would you be? Well, I was in, uh, it, I was actually uh, a trial paralegal for a criminal defense firm. 
uh, for about oh, 10 years. I was, I was, I went through law school and I, I didn't graduate. I think I left right on my second year. I wanted to go back, but I probably would have probably finished uh, or attempt to finish that. Oh, know? that's nice. I, I also like law. I was planning to be a lawyer too myself. So, okay. On a scale one through 10, how good of a dancer are you? Nah, not at all. <laughs> No, you have to say, come on, Joe. Uh, come By the way, Joe's ten. never, seriously, Joe is actually very, very fun. So, uh, five, I don't know, probably, a, probably, probably, a, it, okay, without tequila shots, a three or four, <laughs> with tequila shots, we're probably, in my mind, I'll shoot to a 10. <laughs> All right, that's good. So, okay, what was your most embarrassing moment ever in real estate? I don't know if I could really think for I don't, honestly I don't even think I could I, I, I think we all I think we all have one I think we do have one but I I can't, I can't think that off of. I mean I, I I there has to be one but I I don't know I mean I know that I, there has to be a, at least a couple but I can't even think okay um, embarrassing moment ever in your whole life what do you think somewhere you farted in front of people you threw up what was your embarrassing moment um oh shit uh probably i would have to say probably farted and i didn't you know i didn't think somebody was was there a matter of fact you know what it, it now that i think about that it, it no you know what no it is i was uh, hosting an open house okay i remember farting when i was in the kitchen uh and i didn't think that somebody was walking it was pretty loud and stuff and i you know i i, I wasn't gonna ask or oh, did you hear it but i was just kind of you know but yeah it was like yeah. acting like nothing you couldn't exactly. even exactly yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. good well that's funny okay well thank you joe so much did you want to add anything else to let everyone know how you're doing with this whole year with the covid or what what um advice would you give because of the whole covid thing I, right now? I, I i there's there's and we said we hear it over and over again there truly is no magic pill uh you know i think uh, one thing that I love about our industry and people that we know in our industry, not just, and when I talk about our, our people, it's like I, the people around, you know, our area, your area, right? Because we're all in the same market share, whether we leave, like it or not. And I remember Linda Domus once said, uh, uh, she said, we all help put food in each other's table, whether it's directly or or indirectly. And, and I think knowing that we're not not alone in this and knowing that we're all going that whatever challenges lie ahead in the next year, two years, basically because of COVID, I think it feels good to know that there's, there's others that are going to go through it with us, whatever it may be. But I think the best thing that I could tell people now is more than ever, you really have to be uh, consistent, persistent, and really be all in. I, I don't think this is, this is not the, for the weak hearted, I don't think, uh, you know, the, what's going to come up. It's, I think it's really right now is going to weed out a lot of the people that, that, that are not really meant for this, you know? Right. And, and, and I think part of it is just, you know, hit, you know, I tell my team, hit the database, uh, be the, be the person and be that bridge between the consumer and the information that they need, uh, you know, really be there for them. Don't see them as just as a dollar. And I think, you know, there's a thing that I just started actually telling yesterday to my son, because I had a listening appointment uh, actually yesterday. Uh, and a thing that, that I started saying is like, you're just right now to the consumer, we're just uh, anybody. And right. our goal is to be somebody to them. So right now, when you, when you talk to a, to a consumer, whether it's a seller or a buyer, in this case, to me, in, in this case, to me as a seller, we're just anybody. If we're calling mm -hmm. them, going to the appointment, knocking, where's anybody? The moment we provide value, the moment we provide something that that they need, uh, or or they see that they do need us, that's when we become somebody. So it's just, mm -hmm. I think it's just being consistent and, and just you know keep doing. Like we started, honestly, a lot of people ask me about mailers. I definitely do mailers. Our business comes from, and I'm I'll tell people it comes from mailers, uh, prospecting, um, and the CRM heading the database. That's where a lot of it's coming, and we do you know the database we do. We do get some referrals from definitely referrals from that, but whatever you're doing it, you, and I've always said this double up, double up. It might, now you might have to even triple up, but I mean, whether it is, I, and now there's a couple agents from our office that all they do is hit the past clients and they're doing, you know, they do great. So it shows the mm -hmm. Wilcox office. He just, it, it, a lot of it, he gets from his, from his uh, center of influence and from his database and stuff. So it's just, whatever you're doing, just really, really try to, uh, nice house, by the way. <laughs> 
goes. But uh, I'm trying to figure yeah. out what is this. So I yeah. took, I yeah. looked at no, it, I and I, there was a little icon coming yeah. coming out. I'm so, like, okay. but it, but it's just being, you know, just that. I mean, I think this this next year, I think it's really going to tell us who who's really meant to be in this in this uh, in this business. But you know, I think it's, right. Uh, I think good things lie lie ahead. But just do a little bit of everything, and just everything works. Everything right. works. Well, thank you so much, Joe. This this has been great. A lot of good information that I could even take myself and and you know use it to my business. Thank you so much, Joe. It's thank always you. a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you. See you around. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. See you. See you. Thank you. Take care. Oh, Joe. Remember, yeah. you gotta say say the person you're gonna interview. Oh, next. so next week I'm interviewing next Thursday, which is let me see next Thursday, whatever next Thursday is. Let me. So on the seventeenth, it's gonna be. Uh, Denise uh, Garcia with uh, Nueva uh, Real Estate. I'll be Yay, interviewing. Yay, I her love asking, Denise. Okay. I'll be uh, asking her a few questions. And stuff. I don't know if I'm going to ask her any fart questions, but, you know, <laughs> I'm going to ask her something. I'm gonna, you know, so yeah, I might have to ask her that since you put me on the spot a little bit. There, yeah, right. right? But, yeah, but uh, yeah. Okay. So, okay, sounds okay, good. Cool. Okay, thank Take you, care. Joe. Have All a right. great day. Bye -bye. Have a good okay, one. Bye. Okay, All right, okay bye -bye. you too. Bye. bye.